Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to convert wire IP cable like this one to wireless. The first question you may ask, why we need to convert wire camera to wireless? We can find Wi-Fi camera from the market. You are right, but most of the Wi-Fi camera is built for the consumer use such like home application. It may not satisfy your requirement if you are doing a professional project. There is also limit choice for the Wi-Fi camera. If we can con convert any wire-based IP camera to the wireless, that would be great, right? The solution we are use it doesn't relate to any specific brand, so it works with any IP camera. We are going to use the wireless bridge set up the link between point A and point B, then you can connect any IP camera to one of these points. Alright, now let's get started. We are going to test this Pandel Zoom camera. The camera not only delivers the video, but also have the Pandel Zoom controls. So I think if we can work with the Pandel Zoom camera, it should be able to work with other cameras. You also can reference my other video about how to use the wireless bridge to connect multiple cameras. Okay, now let me prepare the cameras. And these two are the wireless bridge. You can see they're facing to each other, right? Unlike the regular Wi-Fi, they're using the radiation signal coverage. It's just like the umbrella, the user Wi-Fi will have the signal cover all the direction. And the good thing is, no matter where you stand, you may just have the Wi-Fi signal. But for the direction, direction shooting, they're shooting each other so they can have all the Wi-Fi power to make the communication link between point A and point 2. That's the advantage of the bi-direction Wi-Fi technology. Okay, we got two. One is the transmitter, one is the receiver. And like we mentioned, the first thing is they need to have, they need to see each other and light up. If we light up properly, you can see the signal bus completely through. That means they got very good communication. And the second thing is about a channel. Let's just move back. See, you can see the number. This is the one number here. It's about the channel. So you can have multiple channel. When we set up the wireless bridge, you need to make sure the transmitter and receiver stay within the same channel. And there's this button at the, at the here, you can push to change, make sure they have stay within the same channel. And the last thing is about the master. And uh, one is play the receiver, the other plays the transmitter. And we also have the setup under here. It is quite simple. Basically, if you don't want to configure the set the wireless bridge, you don't need to do anything. You just power up, make sure they light up, then that would be it. Okay, now let me just connect the camera uh, to the transmitter. And this is camera, let's power up. And here is the cable. And this is the second cable. Now the cable is connecting to the injector. The injector just supply the power to the wireless bridge, nothing else. And this is the power to the camera, also the signal to the wireless bridge. Let's move back to the receiver. It's pretty much si very similar. And we also have the wireless bridge, and this is the injector sending the power. It's linked to the router and the wireless bridge. This is the cable, gray cable connected to the router, it got the data exchange. And the yellow cable, it got both power and data, so it's sending to the wireless bridge. Now let's just make a quick control of the camera. This is Panda Zoom camera, so we can zoom in, zoom out. And also, let's just Panda Zoom. So that's, since no problem with the control, we can have pretty good control with the camera. And the last question is, should we use the wireless or Wi-Fi or wire? My advice is, if you can wire the cable from your camera or your device to your recorder or your center, always use the wire. Why? You see, the wire provides much more reliable connection than the Wi-Fi wireless. But you may wonder why you, you try to say the wireless, use the wireless bridge. In some of the application, there's no way you can wire the cable, such as the river between the camera and the, and the and recorder, or there's main road. You cannot wire any cables through the road. In this kind of application, you still can go for the wireless. But just choose the bi-direction wireless technology, not the regular Wi-Fi. Because the regular Wi-Fi uses the radiation signal coverage. It will 
satisfy all the direction, but it doesn't have the, all the power to face into each other. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any, any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.